Anyway, carry on. What are we doing? Oh, yes. Are, uh, we, are we talking more about this? Are we going to pause before we go to the AMD to do the super chats? Let's do the super chats. Okay. I need more coffee. Uh, do you want to read the super chats? Uh, or do you want... Oh, wait. I know. I'm going to go make a coffee. And it's going to be rogue story time. Rogue story time? What story do you want? You want to t Why don't you tell everybody about our experience building the computer upstairs? Because oh, you were helping. God. You were a big help. Oh, that was, that was terrible. What do you want? I don't know. Boil the jug. Okay. Probably a tea. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the computer upstairs. Hello and welcome to Bite Size Tech. I'm your host, Rogue, and today a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. Tech has more information and a special sign-up offer at the end of this video. We tried building in that Meshify C Mini with a B550M motherboard. Tiny, 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 tiny. Um, we had several problems with it. We had a SSD with a heatsink on it and we took the metal thing off to put the M.2 on, but there was a pad on the inside of the metal thing and it wouldn't go on. So we had to take that NVMe out and switch it out for one that didn't have a heat sink on it. So once we did that, that was good. But um, we had put an M.2 slot on uh, the other, the, M, the second M.2 slot and underneath it was the post for the motherboard. So we had to take that off and switch out the posts after we had to take the whole motherboard out to do that as well. What else? Oh, and then we put the cooler on that we had and it had a massive fan that just hooked on to the air cooler and it was like two mil sticking out into where the GPU slotted. So we had to take, well, we're gonna take that off. It's still sitting on there, which is why we got a different um, air cooler. What else do we do on that? It was an adventure. The RAM fit perfectly because it was low profile. Oh, you got a, you got a, uh... Your jug's boiling. Thank you. I got some iced tea. Did you tell them about the uh, difference between the micro ATX and the full size board size? No, I didn't get there yet. Yeah, but we, we it's a, it's an ASRock Steel Legend B550M and then the ASRock Steel Legend full ATX board. And we got both of them and we put them side by side and compared the big difference. You know what's interesting? I'm going to pull them both up. I actually have my, because we've already built it with the other one, I can't show it, but I'm going to do this. Like, I having had the experience of building in the the M version, this is wrong one, sorry. So this is the full size. These these are, keep in mind, these are the same model motherboards, but they are so not the same board. They're no, close. But What's interesting is the micro ATX version has the 10 phase power supply and the full size ATX has a 14. There's a lot of little differences between these boards. But so this is a full size ATX Steel Legend B550 and this is the micro ATX Steel Legend. I'm sure so many people think they're the same. But the most interesting aspect of this, and we're going to zoom in on the picture because this is what I want to show. This is the IO shield right here. And this is where the IO shield ends. You can see the little blocking plate here. Take a look at the PCI Express slot. Does that not pretty much line up with where the IO shield ends? Mm -hmm. Okay. See where the IO shield ends? Yes. Okay. The, the M.2 slot is here. This is the full size ATX version, non micro ATX. Look at where, look at the difference. Mm -hmm. The cooler that we installed bumps into the graphics card on the micro ATX version. By like two mil. I mean, it's like. Not much. It's like 
oh, and and it's and it's, it's oh, you can't make it work. You don't think of these things when you're just looking at parts on the web, but that difference of having the top PCI Express slot even with the what cooler was it again? I was trying to remember. It's the Cooler Master Hyper Six Twelve. Oh yes. And, and it's actually the plastic mounting bit for the fan that was blocking yeah, it. Yeah. If there was no plastic it, thing. Because it just, it, it's actually pretty cool. It just clips on to the cooler. But it sits enough to be a, not fun. That difference. That difference. Actually, we were very quite proud of ourselves for finding that. Because you look at this. And you go, okay, so they're basically kind of the same. This just has extra, you know, let, you know no, it's every, more compact. I mean. But the but the actual blocking space for the CPU, because the M.2 slot is between the CPU, this is pushed down. The top, the graphics card slot is further away from the CPU by enough that it we would not have had a problem and you remember how we had to do the funny cable management yeah. for, the, for, the, for the fan? We did. Okay, now let me come up here. This is the micro ATX version. We didn't have enough. Fan, fan. No fans. Correct. Fan, fan, oh, fan. That would have been so much easier. Because oh. in our build, we have two fans at the top of the case, and then the cooler has a fan, but the micro ATX version only has two fan headers. You can get splitters, and you can do a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, but the more you got in there, the more problems can go wrong. That would have been helpful to have. Wouldn't it? That would have been nice. You know what's really insane is we have this board, but we're installing it into a Meshify C Mini, and so of course that well, won't fit. We, we need the micro ATX board. <laughs> we did put it on top, but it was like. I recommend the full-size version of the oh Meshify C. I like the mesh of IC. Why people, having had the experience with building this mini, why people build ITX builds which are smaller? I, they're they're nuts. No. We don't get it. There's it's too much compromise and parts are even more expensive. But I guess if you want to give your brain a workout to try and fit it all in there, go for it. But no, I I want I want <sighs> space to build and that mini. No. And there's more ports and things to plug in on the full-size board. Yes. It, oh, having that extra fan header up there, that, that, that would have been good. So our cooler would have worked. Yes. The fans wouldn't have required a, a long cable and a funny routing. Because he must have spent at least 10, 15 minutes routing that cable. That one cable. The one cable. Because on the... We could put all three on the top here on the full-size version, but on the micro ATX, if you come all the way down to the bottom, one, two, three... I actually have the CPU fan run to this plug. The two front case fans are here. Way from the top, so it had to go. It ran down here, off to the side. I had to tie it under the plugs here, and around and over and into here. I mean, it here. was a long cable, but still. It was nuts. Oh, here's another fact. This is the primary M.2 slot for the oh, Gen 4. that's what I was explaining to them. This is two lanes, not four. And then the um, the thing under the post. The post? Yeah, there was a hole here in the case. There was two small holes right next to each and other. And we had the post in the wrong one, and so we had to take the whole motherboard off and re repost it, but then we had to take the M.2 off to... Also notice on, this is the full-size ATX version, heat sink, heat sink. The second M.2 slot is covered. On the micro ATX version, it's exposed. No cooling. And then I explained about the pad on the top of the, that came on the other one, on the mini. Well, here's what's nice. On, on, I'll put us on here. We were originally going to put a um, XPG S50 NVMe SSD on. But the problem is on here, this is all one piece. This is the chipset cooler, and this is a big heavy piece, and there is no room under here. If you have an SSD that has a built-in heat sink, it will not fit under these. Nope. It, tr it bends said. the SSD. I'm screwing it down yeah. going, does that look like it's bending? And then this end is uh, got a- Sticky and it's, it's hard to get off. It's sticky and hard to get off. <laughs> but here's the kicker. 
If we had had the full size board, do you see how it's not connected to the chipset? Oh, that would have been easy. We could just leave it off. Yeah, but that's gonna that's still got the pad on it. You could leave it off. Oh, this that's... does not have to be oh, put on. Oh, that's true. You if you've that's got true, you could an leave... SSD with a built in heat, heat sink, sink, you don't have to screw that cover back on. I reckon that goose is a lot of people. How many of you did that goose? You got a SSD or an NVMe with a heat sink on it, and then your motherboard's got a heat sink. Now, if the heat sink is separate like this, you can always well, just you, not put it on. But how many of you have bought something where it's all one and you can't? You have to put that back on because this is the heat sink for the chipset. So Tech had to go and find another uh, NVMe to put I got a it. completely different drive. I had to change. Now, because we have a stealth computer store, because we are a YouTube channel, I was able to walk in the other room and go, here's another two terabyte NVMe, I'll put this in instead. Well, that was but after- But that's not normal. That was after looking at several of them, going, what am I gonna put in there? Will this work? No, will this? Okay, will this work? And then and then I've got this and this one, which one do I wanna put Hand in Hand me that real quick. So if anybody bought this, which is, this isn't even premium more drive. The S50 has a small heat sink. Um, do you know how big this heat sink is? Where's the- Don't know. Do you want me to go do the thing? Well, this is, how do we not have something to open this with? I can go and deal with it for two seconds. Give it here. I'm not stubborn. Give it here. No. Give it here. No. It's your idea. Yes, it is. <sighs> you blokes, I swear to God. I made it work. I love you. One dollar. <laughs> you can have a dollar. I'll get you a steak dinner. Tease. Bet you a lot of people, here, take that out, please. I bet you a lot of people would be shocked they'll buy that and they'll buy this motherboard and be like, what the hell are you gonna do? You're screwed. Look how fat that is. That wouldn't fit in there. And that's wrapped all the way around. Yeah. How are you getting that out? You're not taking that off. It's, it's on the bottom and it's all, it's wrapped. It's stuck in there. Maybe you could somehow get it out. No, you can't remove the heat sink. We, we did try on the one that we had and it was just, why? I mean, you're just gonna ruin it. Uh, it actually looked like it had snapped the, the stick in half. Try, it's glued on. Um, so if you've got- Yeah, we recommend, we've used several ASRock motherboards. I'm very happy with ASRock. Uh, they were my, I, all the i9-9900K benchmarks you've ever seen on the channel were on an ASRock Z390, great board. So, no, it's not gonna work. But on the full size board, you would put this here and you would just not replace because it's not connected to the chip. You could just don't put it back on. Yeah, it's all right. I'm gonna keep this as a. As a prop? As a prop. Mm. Moral of the story, stop building small computers. Was terrible. Oh. We still haven't finished. The entire build would have oh. been easier if we had just used a full size yep. mesh of IC. I like the design of the mesh of IC. I like the cable management. I like the mounting on the back. I like the power supply. I like the case. I don't like the mini. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cash back that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no signup fee, no credit checks, no interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money anywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. You heard me right. Use your new crypto Visa card to pay for your subscriptions and get 100% back in rewards. Earning 8% on your new Visa card is awesome, but how would you like to earn up to 14% interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating to feel like your money is just parked. Yes, you really can earn up to 14% annual interest on your crypto paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum, and so on. 
Flexible terms are offered, including zero lock, so you can withdraw your crypto anytime you like without restrictions, or you can hold for one or three month terms for a higher rate of return. Of course, you can buy, sell, and exchange 100 plus cryptocurrencies with 20 plus fiat currencies using bank transfers or your credit and debit card at true cost. Crypto.com is first and foremost a crypto exchange. There is so much more to explore, I have barely scratched the surface. DeFi features including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, crypto pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and you earn up to 10% back in rewards, and that's not even everything they have to offer. If you're looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link in the video description below to sign up today, you'll get a $25 crypto sign up bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and it gets you a great offer to get started in the world of crypto.